Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into Bam Rodriguez and Pedro Guevara uh, in what should be largely a one-sided beatdown. I do want to get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, so join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Get asked to book anything. Get the updated props. Like the props on this really aren't out yet. There'll be more props. We'll show you how to make money on this. Uh, so get the updated props as well as uh, request a video. You can request I do any video, any fight, any breakdown for you. And I will do that. Uh, just $5 a month. Also, head on over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com for the carnivore bar, uh, the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a snack, it's the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. The nutrition of a steak, the convenience of a bar. It's on the nutrition, on the move nutrition without compromise. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. That's promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, on YouTube, that's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds are going to go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. All right, uh, Bam Rodriguez, Pedro Guevara. Um, this is a real fight for Bam. I, I don't want to call it a tune-up. Uh, Pedro Guevara has a win over Andrew Maloney. He's... Yo, know, incredible guy, decent athlete. We're going to get into it. Bam Rodriguez, obviously pound for pound, great. Southpaw, amazing feet, amazing angles, leads to amazing accuracy. He puts himself in incredible spots to land and not get hit. He lands on the button. Landing on the button, the vital place of the temple, the side of the chin takes his good power and makes it uh, great power. It's, it's about the location of where he hits. He's a great athlete. He's got great skills. He blocks shots and gets out of the way. He throws a variety of shots, a variety of combinations. He mixes things up. He's, he's an incredible offensive fighter with great feet that keeps him out of the way of being hit a ton. He was dropped the first time in his career. Uh, he got right back up and was fine and then finished the job against El Gallo. Lightning quick punches, great combination puncher. He doesn't sit still. He doesn't sit in front of you for you to hit him. He's just a, a lot to deal with offensively and defensively. He just he, It's hard to hit him clean. He doesn't sit still for you. He, he, he's great body puncher, perfect footwork, puts himself in great situations, lands clean, lands hard. He's an amazing, terrific finisher. Puts his shots together. When he gets you hurt, it's over, over. He's going to put 10 shots in a row. Amazing speed, accuracy, all there. I mean, at, at 24 years old, he's just about the best fighter in the world. If he's not the best fighter in the world at this point, he will be in the very near future. He's just a special, special talent. Uh, he's one of the best little men of all time, and he's going to make his run up the list now. Just 24 years old, starting to get into his physical prime. It's scary what we can expect to see from Bam Rodriguez. What I will say, though, as, as, as a knock on him, um, is he does fight down to his level of competition. We've seen this before. He, when he fights uh, Sonny, when he fights uh, a Gallo or so Rung Vasai or Quadras, he puts together sensational performance. When he fights guys a little bit notch below, Israel Gonzalez and Christian Gonzalez, notably, uh, he struggles a bit. I don't want to say he struggles, but he doesn't put together his typical Bam Rodriguez type masterclass performances. He looks more human. He's fighting a human fighter in Pedro Guevara. Good pep in his step. Some decent legs. He's got bounce to his step. Not a ton of pop. Uh, decent reach for his size. 67 inch reach at that weight class is not bad. He'll have a reach advantage. Speed difference is going to be a major issue for Guevara. He is very slow compared to Bam Rodriguez, you watch the tape and it's like, whoa, you know, it's like a tractor trailer and a, and a Ferrari. He's, he's also pretty basic. He's not a bad fighter, a uh, good combinations. He gets in and out. He doesn't throw a lot. He doesn't have a ton of power, but he's fundamentally sound. He's got really good timing. Uh, he's not a high volume guy, but he's pretty accurate from the outside. Hard straight shots that he lands pretty accurately from the outside. He timed, like I said, his timing is really, really good. 
He likes the circle. He likes to use the ring. He's not really a front foot pressure fighter. He's not really a stalker. He'll come forward, but he likes the circle. He likes to use the ring. Kind of similar. And I'm not comparing him to Mikey Garcia, but in that kind of way. Not a high volume guy. Selective with his shots. A decent athlete. Can move okay. Can cut off the ring. He can do some things. He can pressure uh, and, and get in and out a little bit. Um, he circles, he uses his jab, he can maintain and create distance. Like I said, he's got decent reach, decent hand speed. It's just not anywhere near the level of Bam Rodriguez. It's not even close. So ultimately, it's ain't going to go great for him, although he is a good fighter. Uh, I, I do expect Bam to have his way with uh, Guevara. Guevara. Now, the only question is stoppage or... Uh, decision we don't have a book on this here yet okay i'm leaning towards the stoppage i mean i'm leaning towards the decision i really am uh you can see the over under is even at eight and a half um i kind of like the over eight and a half and uh, I like Jesse Rodriguez. So what I would do, we don't have, uh, you know, come back, join the Patreon if you have not. But I, I like the, that's not it. The heck? Okay, there it is. I, I like Rodriguez on the money line. This is something you can add to your parlay. This is easy money. Look, it's not going to make you any money. You can take, take this a two times bet. Two dollar bet's going to make you ten bucks. Okay, it's not what we're looking to do here, but that's what that that's, that's what this does. I like the over eight and a half. Um, it's minus 140. On all bet is gonna make you $71. I like that bet. I like the over. I like this bet a lot. Uh, it's not a lock. I like this, you know. Uh Jesse hasn't got guys out super early at, at the higher level. And uh this is a world title fight. And again, Guevara Guevara isn't trash. He's not he got a win over Maloney, he's a decent fighter. Uh so I like the over. I I think it. A 10th round knockout is reasonable. I, I think this is about right. I like this. It could go the distance. Like I said, Rodriguez so fights down to the level of his competition. So I would probably make a one-times bet on that. Half a bet is making 35 bucks, Something like that. Um, but Rodriguez on the money line. Rodriguez as, as in your parlay is safe. And I would take the over on this. And for the additional props, join the Patreon. Come on over to the Patreon. I will show you how to make additional money on this. Um, did I not share this? Am I losing my brain? I did not share this. I'm going to share it now. I've lost my my dang mind. Uh, easy, like I said. Uh, Jesse Bam Rodriguez, money line, two times your normal bet. In this case, $200 bet, $200 bet is going to make you $10. Also, I love the over if you want to make that one times bet. $100 will make you $71. Y'all, that would make you 35 71. This is easy money. Uh, lock it up. I like the over, and I love Jesse Rodriguez on the money line, obviously, in an easy money fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Guys, smash the like button on the way out. Head over to carnivorebar.com. That's the nutrition of a steak, the convenience of a snack of a bar. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. It is November 6th. 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.